What's going on, everybody? Welcome on into today's video. Today, we are talking about cash accounts on Robinhood. Yes, you heard that right. How to transition your account from a margin to a cash account. What does that actually mean? And some of the perks of a cash account. But first, let's walk you through how to do it. You're gonna to go to the top right of your Robinhood account. I am using the web platform. It's gonna be very similar on a phone. Just follow this process of the sections you need to get through, okay? Go to your account. From your account, click on investing. After you hit investing, go to the settings tab of that page. Inside of this, then go click on investing on the left-hand side. And then from there, here we go. Okay, here's where I have options trading level three. I have a margin accounts. I have dividend reinvestment turned on. I have the pattern day trade protection turned on. They'll alert me and I'm getting close to hitting the you know, pattern day trade a threshold, which would be more than three day trades in a five day span. From here, where it says account type and I have it set to margin, click on that. I can now go ahead and click on switch to a cash account. They will give you some more information here. You'll have unlimited day trades. You'll have no instant deposit or trading with unsettled funds. And then you'll also have uh, no level three options trading or rolling. You'll be downgraded to level three or to level two from level three and you can no longer roll options. So you'll go ahead and click on switch to account. If there's any further information that you need to follow or steps you need to follow, go from there and that will be how you do it. Now, in my case, I don't actually want to switch my Robinhood account to a cash account because I don't use it for day trading. If I was using it for day trading, this could be useful. Uh, and that's something that I wanna talk about here in a future video and what you need to know about avoiding PDT with a Robinhood cash account. If you go ahead and do this, you will then have to wait at least five days to switch it back to a margin account. Just make sure you're aware of that before you go ahead and switch over to a cash account. Now, why would someone want to switch to a cash account? Why would you not want to use margin? Well, if you don't utilize margin, this could be useful to you. So the difference between a margin account and a cash account, cash accounts are not subject to PDT, the pattern day trade rule. This means that you don't have to necessarily worry about how many day trades you're taking. However, if you're someone who, let's say, wants to utilize advanced options trading like level three options, or you're someone who wants to be in and out of trades left and right, left and right, and utilize margin, utilize some extra leverage on your trades, that's where a margin account may make more sense. Obviously, if you have over $25,000 in a margin accounts, you don't have to worry about the PDT rule anyway, the pattern day trade rule that tells you, hey, you can't make more than three day trades in a five day span uh, when it comes to market time frame. okay? So if I make a day trade Monday, Wednesday, and then Friday, I unlock the prior Monday's day trade on the Monday, Wednesday, and then the Friday. That's how they kind of unlock. And it's a kind of a rolling scale too. So if I make three day trades, let's say I make three day trades on Monday, I gotta wait till the next Monday, then I unlock those three. Let's say I make one on Monday, one on Wednesday, one on Friday. I get to the next Monday. Now I have two day trades on my record. If I make another one on that next Monday, I'll then have three. So they kind of come off as you get five days down the road. That's kind of how it works. But that's how you can actually go over and change your account type. So if you're confused on how that works, we covered it there for you pretty quick, pretty straightforward. Stay tuned for a future video diving through how you can utilize a Robinhood cash account to avoid the PDT rule, what you can trade, and why options trading is actually a bit more valuable than you may think. Leave any questions, comments down below in the comment section. Like always, consider subscribing here to the channel if you are new post a couple videos a week covering questions just like this. And we'll leave a webinar covering three trading signals to add to your arsenal for free. Link down below in the video description box and pinned comment. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.